एलिगेशन कॉन्सेप्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड क्वेश्चन टिल सिक्स वी हैव मेड सेपरेट वीडियो टूडे वी शैल बी डूइंग क्वेश्चन सेवन टू क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व नाउ अ मिक्सचर कंटेन्स मिल्क एंड वॉटर इन द रेशियो ऑफ थ्री इज टू टू फोर लीटर्स ऑफ वॉटर इज एडेड टू द मिक्सचर ऑफ मिल्क एंड वॉटर एंड नाउ the mixture becomes equal it means now the ratio of milk and water is becoming 1 is to 1 find out the quantity of milk in the mixture in liters let us assume that milk and water the ratio given is 3 is to 2 so we are taking milk and water ratio 3x is to 2x now in this mixture 4 liter of water is added therefore the quantity of water which was originally 2x it becomes to be 2x plus 4 but the quantity of milk is same which is 3x this 3x is remaining 3x and this 2x is becoming 2x plus 4 now in the new mixture the ratio is 1 is to 1 so how will we do it quantity of milk which is 3x quantity of water which is 2x plus 4 3x upon 2x plus 4 is equal to 1 upon 1 because the ratio is equal. Now, if we cross multiply and solve, x is equal to 4. What has been asked in the question is what is the quantity of milk? So, the quantity of milk which was originally 3x will be equal to 3 multiplied by 4 because x is equal to 4. Answer is 12 liters. The quantity of water. it will be 2x 2 multiplied by 4 8 liters and if you are asked the quantity total of the mixture this will give you 20 liters but you will be calculating only the if, if only the quantity of milk is asked no need to calculate the quantity of water no need to calculate the quantity of the total mixture a very simple question next question a mixture contains milk and water in the ratio of 8 is to x 8 is milk and x is water when 33 liters of this mixture is added to 3 liters of water the ratio of milk and water new ratio is 2 is to 1 you have to calculate the value of x first of all amount of milk in 33 liters is equal to 33 multiplied by 8 whole upon 8 plus x why are you doing this this is the ratio of milk divided by the sum of the ratios which is 8 plus x because it is 33 liter so you are multiplying 33 so your answer is 264 upon 8 plus x now what will be the amount of water it will be 33 multiplied by the ratio x x upon sum of the ratios 8 plus x so the amount of water is 33x upon 8 plus x as given in the question you are adding 3 liters of water now what is the new amount of water it will be the original amount of water present in the mixture plus 3 liters added when you will solve this equation your new water is 36x plus 24 upon 8 plus x now amount of milk is the same amount of new water you have calculated and new ratio is given to you which is 2 is to 1 so you fill in the values this 264 upon 8 plus x upon new quantity of water which is 36x plus 24 upon 8 plus x this is 2 ratio 1 which is given to you so you just calculate it your answer comes out to be 3 next question a vessel contains 56 liters of mixture of milk and water in the ratio of 5 is to 2 very simple 56 is the total quantity and milk and water ratio is given to you 5 is to 2 how much water should be mixed so that the milk to water ratio now becomes 4 is to 5 you have to get a new ratio and to get that new ratio how much more water you need to add so how will we solve it the total quantity of milk and water is 56 liters which is given to you and the ratio also is given to you this is f sorry and the ratio is given to you 5 is to 2 uh, let the amount of milk be x liters then the amount of water will be 56 minus x very simple because total quantity is given 56 liters 
Now the ratio is 5 is to 2. So you will write 5 upon 2 is equal to x which is amount of milk upon amount of water 56 minus x. Cross multiply it you will get x value is 40 liters. X was the original amount of milk. So therefore milk is 40 liters and how much is the water 56 minus 40 which is 16 liters. Now the second statement says that you are going to add more water. Let the amount of water added be y liters. Okay. Now milk is going to remain the same 40 liters. What is the new amount of water? It will be 16 plus y because you are adding y liters of water. Milk will remain the same. New ratio is given to you 4 is to 5. So you will put it 4 upon 5. You will solve it. Your answer comes out to be y is equal to 34 liters. Therefore 34 liters should be added water should be added to make the ratio of milk and water 4 is to 5. Sorry, it's wrong written here. Therefore, 34 liters should be added to make the ratio which is given to you 4 is to 5. In many a questions, it is actually given equal but in our question here, it is 4 is to 5. So, this is how you are getting the answer and the answer is 34 liters. Next question. How many liters of water should be added? to a 30 liter milk mixture of milk and water containing milk and water in the ratio of 7 is to 3. So we are given that the ratio is 7 is to 3 of milk and the water and the mixture is 30 liters so that the resultant now mixture should have 40 percent of water and the question is how much water should be added to make it 40 percent. So now you are given the total quantity of milk which is 30 liters and you are given the ratio 7 is to 3. So you will calculate the quantity of water which is 3. Pick it from here and 7 plus 3 is 10 sum of the ratios. So it is 3 upon 10 multiplied by 30 which comes out to be 9 liters. Let the amount of water be added x. So you will get total quantity of the mixture will be 30 plus x multiplied by 40 percent. Because now 40% has to be the water, right? So 30 plus X, which is the new quantity of the new mixture multiplied by 40% is equal to 9 plus X. Because 9 to already we had water and we are adding X liters of water more. So this will be equal to 9 plus X. So the equation comes out to be 30 plus X multiplied by 40 upon 100 is equal to 9 plus X. Please solve it. Answer is 5. So 5 liters of water should be added to the mixture so that the resultant mixture is 40 percent of water in it. Next question. The ratio of milk and water in the mixture of water and milk is 4 is to 3. Original ratio is 4 is to 3. 6 liters of water is added to the mixture. The ratio now becomes 8 is to 7. So old ratio is given. New ratio is given. How much water you are adding that is also given. What is the quantity of milk in the original mixture? What have you calculated? Originally how much milk was there? So how will we solve it? Let the amount of milk in the original mixture be 4x. Because here it is given 4 is to 3, right? Therefore, the amount of water in the original mixture is 3x. Quantity of original mixture is 7x. Very simple. Now you are adding 6 liters of water. So the water will be 3x plus 6. And the resultant mixture will also be 7x plus 6. Already the resultant mixture is 7x. You are adding 6 liters. So 3x plus 6 upon 7x plus 6 will give you 7 upon 15. Please make it very clear that this 6 can be added to the original amount of water. And it can be added to the original quantity of mixture. This 6 can never be added to the original milk. If you add it in the milk, your question is coming out to be wrong because 6 will be water is added. Therefore, water will increase and the resultant mixture will also increase by 6. So it is 3x plus 6 upon 7x plus 6 is equal to 7 upon 15 because 7 is the ratio of water. So you solve it and x is equal to 12 liters because x is 12 liters. You have to calculate the original milk. Original milk is how much 4x. So now you will get 4 multiplied by 12 which is 48 liters and this is your answer. Now the last question if the article is 35 kg of a type of sandal powder type A which costs 614 per kg was mixed with a certain amount of another type of sandal powder type B which costs 695 per kg. So you have made your chart. CP of uh, cheaper, one unit cheaper is 
614 and CP of one unit of DRR is 695. Okay. Then the mixture was sold at 767 per kg and 18% profit was gained. I have already told you in other articles that this 767 cannot be written here because this is the selling price. You have to calculate the cost price because profit percentage is very well given to you. So let the cost price be x. Then x plus 18% of x is 767. You will solve it. X comes out to be 650. Now this 650 will fill in this chart. Rest you can calculate. 695 minus 650 is 45. 650 minus 614 is 36. The ratio is very clear to you. Cheaper quantity is to dearer quantity is equal to d minus m is to m minus c. I have explained this concept clearly in the allegation concept. You can have a look there if you are not clear with what is happening here. So cheaper quantity is to dearer quantity is equal to d minus m is to m minus c. So you please fill in the values. 45 upon 36. You are taking 45 from here and 36 from here is equal to 5 upon 4, right? So this comes out to be amount of S2 powder is equal to m upon n into 35 because the total was here 35 kgs. So you are multiplying it by 35. This 5 upon 4 you have calculated here, right? So you will be doing 4 upon 5 because you are calculating the Uh, uh, type B sandal powder, right? Which is the DRR one. So here, uh, what will come here? You here will come uh, four, and here in the denominator, I'll just write it for you. So you will get here. Here you will write in the numerator it will be four, and here in the denominator you will write five. So it comes out to be four upon five. 4 upon 5 multiplied by 35. So because the dearer powder is in the denominator, so here you will put 4 upon 5 into 35, which comes out to be 28 kgs is your answer. So here we come to the end of the article. In case you have any doubts, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. You want to give a suggestion to me? You can write in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay blessed.